the Auspice TV. Welcome to Websley. In this tutorial, we are looking on how to create Android app with this website. Just follow these steps and you get everything right. Now, go to this website, websley.io, as you can see, and click on create app here or you click on it here. After that, click on continue. And if you want to check full videos, you can click on this place. Now, continue. Now, if you have an account before you log in, but you don't, just click on this register now and enter your details, your name, email address, phone number, and password. After that, log in. Okay, I've successfully logged in with my account, but uh, you can see my website, in my apps, there is nothing here, so we need to create app now. Now, by clicking on this plus sign, and you can click here to check all the apps you have created. For more details, you can see we have menus here. All right, now click on this button. Now click on Android app. Now the name you want to give to your app, put it here. After entering your details, so click on create. As you can see, my app is created successfully. So this is the app. To check the details, view details, click on the app and click on view details. This is the details of my app. Now we have my manager ID here. We'll explain how to use that one later. So this manager ID is what we use to access your app manager. So that'll be later. Now this is your app ID. Platform type, none. So last visit, another thing. Good. So let's go back. Now I click it again. Now we have copy app, app ID in case you need this app ID. So we don't need it. Now we have two buttons, this download app and the open manager. So in case you want to download your app, you can click on this place. In case you want to open your manager, click here. So let me click on download app and see what we have on. Now you can see what it shows. Your app logo is required. So how to do that is to by open your app manager, click on settings from menu to upload your app logo. So let's quickly do that now. So that means you need to go back to this place. Click on open manager. Now from here it shows that I should enter the details of my app. So select app type you want to create. So you can you want to start from scratch. You want to create with your e wallet app, book SMS app, online store, logistics, online school, and others. So many more will be added very soon. Now let me go for let's for example let me use VTU e wallet app. So that means do you want to enable user sign up? Yes, everything just leave it like that. Only this one you need to change. In case you want to change the name of your app, you can still change it here. Okay, after that you click on update. Good. Now can you see it shows your app download link is this. So this is my app download link. So let me copy it out. That one you need to use to download your app and check it. Now it's copied. By default, my account is, it, it has uh, this amount. Why? Because it is in demo. You can see demo to test run your platform. So but before that, let me quickly download my app. So the URL, so let me paste it here. You can see my app is required. So we need to upload that logo. You click on app here. Now from this place, click on settings. Now this is where you control your Android app. So if I come, come down here, you can business address. So change it to your address, your business address. Now this is manager ID we saw last time. So this is how to, now in this, you, you know that we pass through website.io. So if you don't want to pass through this place, you can see, uh, enter this app manager by going to manager.service.com. So let me open it. You can see. So by using this app ID, by using this manager ID, so if you put it here, it will also take you to the manager. You can see, so this one and the, and this one, they look alike, and this one, they look alike. So that means you can manage your website by going to manager.websley.io. So, so that settings I clicked on last time, I can still achieve it from here, you can see, so it's still here, good. Now on that display, your team, your app team color, so this you can change it. Now logo on the app, do you want it to be text or you want it to be logo? So you, if you want it to be logo, click on logo. Now to change your logo, you click on this place. After you've selected your logo, so click on OK. This button, so click on it. 
Good, your logo is uploaded. Now, after that, let's go back to our app to check if our app is ready now. So let me just let me just refresh this page. Continue. You can see the logo is here. Good. Now let me download my app and see what's going on now. Now at first you see your app like this is impending. Now you can see your Android app is impending, so it will be ready when you finish setting up your app. So install app tester to continue your app development. Pending the time your real app will be ready in less than 24 hours. So that means your app is in development mode. So but it's waiting for you to complete your setup. So after you have completed your setting up, you'll be able to see your real app. But pending the time you are done, because the setting up may take much air, it may take like two hours, depending. So it may take more hours. Now, pending the time you are waiting, so you can install this app. So this app will look exactly like your app. So when you are done setting up your app, when you, if you come back to this download app place, you'll be able to see your real app and you'll be able to see option to upload it to Play Store. But pending that time, let us install this app tester that we are going to use to test run our app. Now I've installed it on my PC, so this is the app. So if you have Android phone, you install it on Android phone. So let me click on it. Good. Now you can see, so click on test now. Enter your app ID. So how will you get this app ID? Click on this place. You can see, go to Wesley.io, create an application. Click on how you wish to you wish then click on copy app id so what you need to do now is to go back to that your your app you created now this is the app i created last time so let me click on it you can see copy app id so click on it this is the app id so copy so go back to the app click on test now and paste the app id this app id should not be disclosed to anyone so now click on open app tester good you can see it loads your logo good let me click on continue now as a user i want to ask like a user so as a user i don't have any accounts before on your app so let me click here to register and after that i will log in you'll be able to control me as a user you'll be able to control me from your app manager okay let me click register now let me click on register registered successfully so i need to log in now Now, the screen will look exactly like this. You remember that we created a VTU or a wallet app, so that's why we can have the kind of design like this. So if we go for another thing like online, online store, online school, and different app type like that, so you are going to have different design. So on this uh, VTU app, you can see, so you yeah, click on this place, I have different things. So click on this, this is your app ID. Uh, sorry, wallet ID. So if you click on this wallet ID, wallet, in case you want to send money to someone, so you need the person's wallet ID. Then you just send, you can see, wallet ID. And in case you want to withdraw, click on this withdraw, choose your bank, enter your account number, enter uh, amount. So when you click on withdraw, it will fetch out the name of the bank order. So you confirm it if, the, if it's genuine or not, then you click on OK. So the money will be sent to the person's account the, if you have balance here. Okay, now in case you can see if you want to buy a time data subscription, TV subscription, electricity bill, education. So this is all about VTU or a wallet app. So transaction list will be here. You can see nothing. Money you have sent, nothing. Our blog. So which you are the owner of the app, but you have not uploaded blog from your app manager. So any blog you upload from your app manager will reflect in this place. So if you want to fund your wallet, click on this plus. You can see fund your wallet. You want to send click here now the services you have click here now if your user wants to change their profile click on this place you can see so change your name your mobile number another thing so subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on each app type so i'm going to explain on how you can create 
online store, online school, restaurants have different app type. Thanks for watching. Kindly click on subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime I release new videos. Don't forget to click on the bell button beside it so that you will always be notified.